Reefer Gill here. I purchased this pinpoint salinity monitor from Dr. Foster and Smith. I purchased the monitor to monitor the salinity in my salt water making bin. When you purchase the pinpoint monitor, you get the box that it comes in, the monitor itself, calibration fluid, which the target number is going to be 53 ms or 35 parts per thousand. You get a user's guide and then you get this salinity chart that measures the salinity in different variations salinity MS salt parts per thousand and specific gravity and then it will translate whatever variation you're looking at into a specific gravity or or whatever other variation you're looking for so in this case the calibration fluid is target for 53 we look on our chart for 53 look across 53 also equals 35 parts per thousand which also equals 1.026 specific gravity so we'll go ahead and do a video on calibrating the salinity pinpoint and then we'll show you the results at the end these are the items you'll need to calibrate the salinity monitor a mini flathead screwdriver the fluid or the calibration fluid a clean container in my case I'm using a paper cup and the probe for the salinity monitor itself this salinity calibration fluid can be reused so long as not contaminated by any other liquids and so long as you're using a clean container to place the salinity calibration fluid inside of right out of the box the pinpoint salinity monitor was precisely at 53.0 I went ahead and messed with the adjust adjustment screw in the back of the pinpoint monitor so I could throw it off for the purpose of this video and recalibrate it back to 53 so what you want to do is you want to get your flathead screwdriver turn the monitor over and you'll see two screws one and two what you want to do is get the innermost screw right here and then start to turn it until we get to 53 past it very small turns and the one thing I didn't mention is when you place the probe into the calibration fluid you want to leave the probe in the fluid for one to two minutes to allow the probe to adjust to the temperature of the calibration fluid itself and what I'm doing is making very very small adjustments to the screw in the back to get this thing to turn to where we want it which is 53.0 okay it took a little finessing but finally got it to 53.0 what I'm gonna do now is drop the probe into my saltwater bin and compare the reading on the pinpoint salinity monitor to the reading on my refractometer and see what the results are the probe is now in the saltwater mixing bin you can see it's reading 1.2 1.1 which if you look on the reference chart here it's basically 1.025 specific gravity I like to keep my salt water at 1.026 so I'll be adding some salt to the mix I did confirm the reading with my refractometer which also reads 1.025 specific gravity now I have a quick reference or a quick way to reference what's going on in the bin whether I need to add salt or add more RODI water to bring down the salinity That'll conclude the video. If you guys have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Otherwise, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.